Hi guys, welcome to number three in our series of V tutorials in partnership with Vidarats in Parajet. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the engine braking procedure and how to effectively warm your engine prior to flight. Now, let's walk you through the engine starting and warm up procedure. Firstly, you should always start the engine on your back and never on the ground for safety. Secondly, always ensure you have a brace position prior to starting. Okay. So now we're ready to start the engine. It's important to start the engine in a safe way, in a nice open area with at least 10 meters between yourself and any objects to ensure that the ground conditions are good with no loose rubble, stones or dirt that could get into the propeller or impact anybody else. All of these conditions are looking good. Let's start the engine. So in this case, the throttle is in my right hand side. I'm gonna place my hand behind my head and locate the pull start handle. Now the Vitarazzi pull start has a mechanism within it to assist you to pull the engine. So what we need to do is pull gently outwards, release, pull gently outwards again, release. And here suddenly you'll find a tension in the line. There's a nice biting point of the line. And then one stern pull, release. The engine is now started. So now before we fly, we want to ensure the engine is correctly warmed. So we're going to follow the starting procedure we just discussed. So taking the spool starter handle, clear prop. The engine is now started. And what we want to do is allow the engine to continuously stay at a stable low RPM for approximately 30 seconds. Now, it may be necessary to apply a small amount of throttle, but in this case, we can see the engine is nice and stable. So allow it to warm progressively for 30 seconds. Now, when the 30 seconds is completed, we're going to brace ourselves and slowly progress the throttle up to a quarter throttle and maintain for a further two to three minutes. And for the final part, we're going to progress all the way to full throttle or as close to as is safe as manageable to do so and maintain for a further 15 to 20 seconds. Your engine is now warm and ready for flight. So as we discussed, when you receive your new engine, it's important to conduct the braking procedure. So now that we've warmed the engine effectively, we're gonna conduct the braking procedure, which lasts two hours and consists of four 15 minute cycles. 15 minutes of engine running, 15 minutes of allowing the engine to cool whilst off, another 15 minutes of running, another 15 minutes of cooling, and so forth until the process is complete. Now, in order to conduct the braking procedure effectively, it'll be necessary to have an RPM tachometer so that you can monitor the exact RPM range. Okay, so ensuring that the oil ratios are correct, as we've previously talked about, we're gonna start the engine braking procedure. Now, each 15 minute cycle of engine running will consist of the following. Four minutes at 4,000 RPM, followed by one minute of idle. Three minutes at 5,000 RPM, followed by one minute of idle. Two minutes at 6,000 RPM, followed by a minute of idle. One minute of 7,000 RPM, followed by a minute of idle. And then finally, 30 seconds at 8,000 RPM, followed by a minute of idle. We'll then stop the engine and allow the engine to cool for 15 minutes before conducting the complete cycle again another three times. So now we're gonna complete the cycle practically. I'm gonna start the engine I'm going to build up to 4,000 RPM, maintaining for the first four minutes, and then repeat the remainder of the cycle until completed. So let's start the engine. Clear prop. Using the tachometer, we'll start to monitor the engine RPM. So brace.
So that completes the first 15 minute cycle. So we're going to allow the engine to cool for 15 minutes before repeating again the continued process another three times. Now we've completed the four cycles of the engine break-in, the final piece is to retorque the head nuts of the cylinder head once the engine is cooled. And this is because during the break-in procedure, when the engine's new, there's a lot of heat expansion and contraction, and it's important to re-tighten all the bolts to make sure that everything's ready for continuous flight. It'll also be necessary to repeat this after every 10 hours of flight. So taking a torque wrench, simply apply it to the cylinder head nuts, giving a firm squeeze until you feel the click, always diagonally for equal pressure. Again, all the bolts are now firmly tight and the engine's ready for ongoing use. Once you've completed all of the 30 minute flights or used the first 15 liters of fuel, it'll be necessary to readjust the fuel to oil mix ratio in accordance with our instructions in tutorial two. Finally, during the first 10 hours of use, it'll be necessary to conduct a number of checks. The first, retighten all the cylinder head nuts to a level of 17 Newton meters. Ensure the engine idles at approximately 1800 to 2000 RPM. Check the color of the spark plug to ensure it's a healthy color. Verify the tension of the belt after two hours and 10 hours to ensure it's the appropriate tension. Check for any leaks of oil or other residue. And then finally, checking the integrity of all the engine rubber mounts. Thanks for joining us for tutorial three, and we look forward to welcoming you to tutorial four, where we'll walk you through the carburetor and how to make any necessary adjustments. See you soon.